Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, first of all, we will discuss the meaning of index number. Now, as we know that there is a change in economic and business data from time to time. For example, prices of all commodities sometimes rise and sometimes fall. Also, output of a commodity sometimes rises and sometimes falls. These changes are measured by a statistical device known as index numbers. Also, we can say that index numbers indicate the state of certain variable at any given time or place in comparison with the state of same variable at some standard time or place. Now let us discuss the characteristics of index numbers. Now the first one is index numbers are specialized averages. Now we can call it a specialized average as it helps in comparing the changes in the variables which are in different units. Whereas Averages can compare those variables which are in the same units. For example, in the construction of a consumer price index, the various items are taken into account such as food, house rent, clothes, lighting and other miscellaneous items which are in different units. Now the index numbers measure the relative changes in the aggregates. Also, they present the changes taking place in some variable on an average only. Also, the index numbers are expressed as percentages but the percentage sign is never used and also they measure the changes which are not capable direct measurement. And the index numbers are comparative in nature. Here, the position in base year and current year are compared. And now let us discuss the uses of index numbers. Now in present times, index numbers are important statistical tools and their use and importance is increasing. They are widely used in economic and business fields in measuring relative changes 
and now we will discuss the main uses of index numbers now the first one is the index numbers makes possible the measurement of complex changes whose direct measurement is not possible that is the changes in some quantities which we cannot observe directly also the index numbers measure the relative change now as the measure the relative change therefore by index numbers the salary of a government and other employees can be fixed as the rate of dearness allowance and any increase from time to time depends upon the cost of living index also the index numbers reveal trends and tendencies further they help in framing suitable policies also they help in making comparisons by reducing the changes to percentages which are easily comparable and they act as a sort of economic barometers as they act as indicators of inflationary and deflationary tendencies and they also measure the purchasing power of money so these were the various uses of index numbers so in this session we have learned about the meaning characteristics and uses of index numbers so this completes our session Hope you all have enjoyed the session.